What's up, everybody? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Uh, I went to work today. I woke up at around... That's my parents' show in the background, sorry. I woke up at around 4.55 a.m. this morning, and um, I left to go to work at around 6.30. Um, my mom is staying at home, uh, uh, working from home today, uh, but she was able to drive me, which was very nice, and then I was able to get my hours in. Um, and so, you know, I worked from around 7 to 3.30, about. Um, minus lunch break, you know, of course. Uh, for lunch, I had, like, these two big burritos that were in the freezer, and that was pretty good. Um, and yeah, work went well. Um, for the first... What did I do? Um... Oh yeah, so we have this flammables cabinet, like a big yellow one is where we put all our flammable stuff and it's sort of, it was packed full of random stuff. Um, and of course when you need spray paint, you just open it and you look around, right? And you should grab it. But um, now, you know, it's organized. I organized it this morning. It took like an hour. You know, we got out, I got out a table and I put all the stuff on the table and then my boss showed up and said all the things that weren't good and were to throw away. And so we did. Um, and now, you know, top shelf is uh, spray paint. Middle shelf is like adhesives, um, which is pretty packed. We have a lot of adhesives um, for like fiberglass and uh, for what, like PVC and for wood and whatever. Um, and then at the bottom is like sort of random stuff, uh, like I don't know, like I don't know, like fuel and stuff like that, and like alcohol and like stuff that like is. Um, Stuff that is useful but isn't spray paint or adhesive, which is like a majority of what's in the cabinet, which is on the top shelf and the middle shelf. Um, so yeah, that's organized and I'm happy about that. Uh, I put a little note on it saying it was organized. And, uh, we have a whole bunch of flex seal for some reason. So we just sort of put that on the side because we don't really know what it reacts with or anything. Um, you know, I mean, from the commercials, flex seal seems pretty good, but um, you, know, we, you know, we don't know if it's good for like our use cases or whatever, so. Uh, yeah, I always have a big box full of Flex Seal um, on the side. And yeah, then after that, I uh, organized, I didn't, um, it was this big model of a river, and we were testing sediment in this river. Um, and so I scooped out the sediment with a trowel, um, pretty much. And uh, it was actually, my boss recommended this to me. He recommended I put a fan at one end of the river and then point the fan into the river. So then it like blew through because there's a lot of wet sand on the bottom, and my boss needed enough sort of no sand there for him to be able to do masonry. So um, the thing was, was that once I scooped up the sand, there was still like a layer at the bottom of like wet sand that I couldn't pick up with the shovel because it would just, you know, the sand would just go under the trowel, you know? Uh, so, um, you know, with that fan blowing, you know, by the time I got to the end, all the sand was pretty dry and I was able to sweep it up with a, like a hand sweeper, you know, like a, like a broom, except it's like a stick and there's like a whole bunch of broom stuff on one end. It looks like a comb, but it's a broom, if that makes sense. Um, it's big, you know, um, I don't know. I was able to sweep that up and put it in that little um, pick up thing with a sweeper. What's it called? Uh, sorry guys, I'm stupid. Uh, the, the, like the thing that you put the, like you have a broom and a thing that you put the dust into. Dustbin! Um, yeah, so I got the hand sweeper and I sweeped it with the hand sweeper into the dustbin, all that rest of the sand. And uh, yeah, and then we got a bunch of, he showed me, um, he's told me to organize this like collection of like a whole bunch of buckets full of bolts uh, before and he's just told me to organize it, but I didn't know exactly what he meant. And uh, this is a bit of a character flaw, but I have quite a bit of trouble uh, doing things when I don't know exactly what to do. Um, and the reason why that's a bit of a character flaw is because by the time it's been described exactly what to do, in a lot of cases, it would have just been faster for the person telling me to do it to do it. Uh, so, you know, I got to work on that. But in this scenario where it's like just a lot of like monotonous work, I can do a lot of monotonous work and my boss can do things that are more worth his time, right? So he described to me, you know, um, Basically, every time we have these bolts, we have two washers on them and we have a nut at the end. So uh, just find nuts and washers and just put them on the nuts and just put them on the bolts and make sure they're organized on what it says on the outside of the bucket. So I did that for the last like hour and a half of the day and 
yeah, that was good. And I felt productive all day, and, you know, today was pretty good. Uh, I might go in... I, I, I asked him if he was going to be in on Friday, because he, typically he's not in on Fridays, and he said, well, it depends on what I get done today. And the implication was that I was going to show up on Friday if he was there, but I made, I've made plans for Friday, so I can't show up. So tomorrow I'm going to have to tell him, sorry, I, I can't show up on Friday, but, you know, uh, but, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. For breakfast, I had, like, four packages of oatmeal and a banana and a roll. Uh, for lunch, I had those two burritos and, like, some chips. Um, and for dinner, we had, like, homemade Taco Bell burritos, and those were tasty. Um, and, yeah. Alright, see you, dude.